Welcome to episode number 58 of the Star Wars Road of the Show series, and today I'm going to be playing my Star Wars Road of the Show series, obviously. And um, before we get started here, just a disclaimer, um, if you do hear a noise like, well, if you hear this like, wind noise, it's because I have a fan in here, and I don't, if I don't have it, it's most like, it's probably going to be warm in here. And it's on number three, so it's on the highest level. That's why you, you've been hearing that. Pro you might. That's why you might be hearing that wind sound for like all my videos since I got home from Montana, which I've already done like ten, I think, or at least ten. Uh, but I am still stuffed up a little. Um, but I haven't had a temperature since that Sunday. Well, since Monday, and now today is Friday. I think. Yeah. Friday, August twenty seventh. Um, yeah, as you didn't see. On this calendar, we, we won nine straight. We're about to play the Cardinals after two days off in a row. We're about to play the Cardinals for two games in St. Louis. And then, and then after that, we're going to uh, play the Mets for three games at home. So the only five games in this episode because of that two-game series against, against the Cardinals in St. Louis. But it could be a quick episode or a little shorter episode. It's not a super quick episode, but it's, it won't be on the longer end, hopefully. But you can see, I mean... In June, we have one, we've only had one loss. We're 47-23. Only four have to end up on the Pirates because the Pirates um, have won five straight. We won, we won, we won nine straight. As you can see, uh, they're 41 and 26. Four have to end back to first place in the NL Central. We won nine straight and we're nine and one in our last ten. Pirates have won five straight and they're also nine and one in their last ten. That's why. They're only four and a half games back. Cardinals 13 and a half games back, who are about to play. Red 16 games back, and the Brewers 17 and a half games back. As we are ranked, uh, second in baseball, first in power, first in time, that's seventh, seventh in speed, 15th in defense, and unfortunately 26th in pitching. And I do have to show you, uh, one thing before we get going here. In this game, where we won 16 to 2. As you can see, I mean, 16 runs, 20 hits, no errors. You probably can't see it because of the light in, which right now all six lights are on. I told you in the last video about that light problem with two, the light above my head and the light above the TV, but fortunately right now they're on, not on wood. Um, Star Wars took four home runs. Yep. And I'm not kidding. I know you probably won't, I can see myself, it says HR Force or four, which means four home runs. Unfortunately, you guys probably can't see that, but trust me, I'm not trying to lie or anything. Just, I mean, if I lied, then all I'd have four home runs. This is the first time ever with any of my brother's show characters, or first time for Star Wars, or, or any of my brother's show characters, that have hit four home runs to my knowledge. I've hit three, then we just start Forcer at least two times. It's literally a playoff game. Um, I've done it, a Star Forcer, I believe, was my only character that has it. Bro, the Joker that that has hit three home runs to my knowledge, at least, and he's done it at least twice. I mean, Vinny J's hit two. I like, think almost all my characters have hit two home runs in a single game, except for maybe Jack Thornton. But uh, Star Forster, I think, was my only brother the Joker that hit three home runs in one game, and he did it like at least two times. Um, and one of those two times wasn't in a playoff game. It's, it's at least two times. And then, but I never hit four with any any with any. I and I've never hit four home runs in a single game with any of my brother show characters to my knowledge. But now I have he did it. And again we won sixteen to two, we had four home runs and had ten RBIs in the game. And in the game he went five for six, four home runs, a single I believe. No no no. In the game where the Cubs went sixteen to two over the Reds in Cincinnati, the Star Wars went five for six with four home runs, a double 10 RBIs and 4 runs scored. Obviously, 4 runs scored on the 4 home runs. So, that was the first time ever, to my knowledge, I have hit 4 home runs with Star Wars or any of my other show characters. I think all my other show characters have hit 2 home runs in one year, except for, I think, Jack Thornton. Um, and then, I think Star Wars was my only other show character that hit 3, to my knowledge, and it did it at least twice, and now Star Wars has hit 4 home runs in one game. First time that he has done it, I think, to my knowledge, and then first time I've done it with any with any of my brother's show characters, to my knowledge. But either way, there's a possibility I did it off camera. Like that day I was off camera, but I remember it. 
but it might happen. If it did happen, four home runs in one game, it was probably like that one with the show 17 when they were still throwing pitches right down the middle. So, so uh, there might, it might have happened one or two other times, but I don't remember them. But hopefully that's the only time, or the first time. I think it is. It might not be because I might have forgot another time, but I think that was the first time. But either way, uh, right play the Cardinals uh, first game of the two day series against the Cardinals in St. Louis it's the pitching matchup is uh, Kyle Hendricks for us for the pit, starting pitcher for us Kyle Hendricks and the starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals is Anthony Despani Hendricks is 9-1 with a 2.97 ERA Despani is 4-3 with a 4.82 ERA let's get into it we do get two days off so. and then I did the uh, I did the Bannon cage. I didn't meet. Well, I wanted to do the Bannon cage, and then, and then I think I up my attribute and count that versus lefty and righties. I didn't mean to do that. I must have double hit that. Uh, Dad, what would you like to do today? Play us or uh, let's talk to Aaron Hits. Hits sent some batter ahead of the name. Uh, let's do that one. Whatever, do let it, your game speak for itself. Hitch assures you that you won't need to worry about that. Okay, so from rival rivalry with Aaron Hitch, with from unfamiliar rival and team rivalry with the Cardinals, it's still on rival. Rival. So rival my uh, my level with my uh, the level of my rivalry with Aaron Hitch. It's from for unfamiliar unfamiliar to rival and then my rivalry my team rivalry with the Cardinals uh, it's still in rival but it's almost in fierce rival. What do you expect? I mean, we're in the same division. Uh, yeah, it's in the game now. Pulled in one still, not in real life. He, now he's with the Brewers. Now uh, Tom Nunez, Elmer Diaz, Randall Grichich, Sean Babb, Stephen Dietrich, Aaron Hitch, Carson Kelly, obviously the and the pitcher. Then we have. Damon Britt, Jason Hayward, Star Forcer, myself, which is myself, 99 overall. Chris Bryant, Francis Philandor, with 299 on this team. Star Forcer and Francis Philandor. We still have Anthony Rizzo, we still have Anthony Rizzo, Wilson Contreras, Marcus Simeon, and the pitcher. We don't have Baez, though. But obviously, we still have uh, Bryant and Rizzo on, like, in real life. So, let's get into it, and I think we're doing a little bit better than the real Cubs in real life. No offense, Cubs fans. I'm Matt with. Contreras, Hendricks, Rizzo, Simeon, Bryan, and Hayward, and then Ambrose with Lenore, and then Friendly with uh, Damon Britt in center. Added 450 on the year, 35 old months, 86 RBIs. Let's watch a condition, Mavis Sturgeon. Saturday and Sunday series, which uh, you never see in real life. Record 20 will be halfway to the record if we can win today. I don't like these shadows. Cardinals rot and the arch. Because you didn't see... That looks like Ramon Russ with the left of that sign. I don't like these shadows, as you didn't see. Uh, well, I mean, now basically there's almost a pitcher and the batter are both in the shade. So I like that. I don't like when one's in the shade and one's in the sun. That's a round ball through a base hit. thought the first base in two made, made to play on it. But he didn't. I assume it's a hit or it wasn't like an error or anything. So first hit of the series and the episode. For Star Forcer and his first at bat of the episode and the series. 0-2 oh, down to Chris Bryant. There's one out. No score. And it's a pop-up. That's probably will be the influence fly roll. And it is. Batter's out. It's caught anyways, but the batter's out regardless of the infielder or the... Yeah, if the infielder touched the ball or not. 1-2 oh, down. Two outs. For Francis Lindor, two on two out, and that's the runner miss. Well, obviously, we have Lindor uh, in return. Not well, it wasn't via trade. We got Lindor via uh, free agency, and then we didn't resign. Resign. We didn't resign Baez, and he signed with the uh, Diamond Bats, I think. Then it was the Diamond Bats. Then it was. If I remember, right, it was the Diamond Bats he signed with. And obviously, then we got Lindor to take this spot. One nothing. Cubbies, bottom series, Randall Dritchick. Last year, if I remember right, um, we were doing the last game of the Redder season last year with a 19-game winning streak, and I think we lost that last game. 
And if we won that last game of the regular season last year, we would have tied the win record, but we weren't going to break it that year because that was the last game of the regular season. But I believe we lost the last game of the regular season, so our winning streak was snapped in 19 games. And then we won the World Series last year, and that ball is absolutely demolished. 4 nothing Cubbies, and that will be 4-15. 4 6 feet off. Number 36. Three run shot for Star Forcer to straight away right field. Four and up in Tubbies. Four and nine feet. I said four fifteen. Six feet off. Uh, he said what career number home or how many home, career home runs I have, but I just talked him over. But he was number thirty six on the year and no doubt at the right field. He's a lefty, so it's not his uh no doubt home run throw issue when he's a lefty. The righty one's probably better, but unfortunately he's a lefty. But I'll still take the home run. I don't, we're almost on that concourse right there. Five nothing tubs now. That made it. That made it out. Right? I don't think. Oh, then, yeah. I homered, and then Bryant homered right after me. So, yeah, I'm, my three, three run homer made it four nothing, and then Bryant homered after me, and made it five nothing. And that's a lot. Popped up. Top by Lindor, and then over. Not sure why I saw that. Nine straight. I've never been a part of a perfect game or no hitter to my knowledge and road to the show ever. But our first one out, top four, and Luke Weaver is not the starter. Here we go, I guess the high four seamer. That ball is going to be gone as the runner at first is running, and there's less than two outs gone. 385, 390. Tied it four on camera because I'm halfway there, and it's only the fourth in it. So I'll get two more at bats. 350. So that's the last one. The last one was 349. This was 350. I said 390. I said 385 for the distance. It was 39, so I was five feet off. So I was six feet off on the first home run, and now I'm five feet off on the second home run. He went with the like the uh, fourth home run of the game, and the four home runs in the game for the Cubs are, and it's not even. It's the fourth inning only. Here I am. It's a sixth inning. It's eighth and nothing. And it's Chain Home Park. Now I hit three. I've already hit two. And that could be gone. That ball is gone. Number three. 390. 402. So I've been what? Six feet off, five feet off, now I'm 12 feet off. I said 390 was 402. 38th of the year, third of the day, 351st of his career. I don't think he can hit up the. Uh, I don't think he'll do his former career home run this year, though, because he needs 49 more. Never know, but it probably if it's not this if it's this year that'd be insane, but if it but it'll probably be next year. But you never know. Third of the game, and I'll get one more bad in this game. It's ten to nothing. No runs on two outs, bottom sits, it's Alec, Masea pinching in for the pitcher, and that ball is demolished. So no shutout for the Cardinals, it's now ten to one. Three eighty five. Three ninety one. Third of the year for that guy was six feet off so I've been all my death Jesses, including this one, I've been within, well, 15 feet, or 12, really. Top seven. If I get homer here, I might get up again. Can I hit five? Well, first I have to hit four. I've already hit three. Oh! Hit four home runs in uh, single day. It's rare. I did it a week ago in this game. Can I do it again? Just on camera? Oh, no! And that's our. There's a kind of cutter on the outer half of the play. It was in the zone. Fortunately, it's 4 6 3 double play. Well, we did up. Well, I did up again. The bottom seven runner. No runners on one out. 10 1 still. I don't know. I mean, we won't have six more outs to work with. It's not like we're going to lose or anything. But, um. I don't know. We need, like, two or three base runners for me to get up again. No, I won't get up again, but th so I won't get four home runs. I blew my chance because I had a chance in the seventh, but grounded into a four to three double play. But ten wins in a row, and I'm not complaining about three home runs. I would like to, I would like to hit four because who doesn't in a video game? And I did it. I know I just did it. Like, uh, well, in real life, that was like a week ago, or it was like a week ago when I hit, did it. Uh, I would like to do it. I it would be nice to do it again, but I'm not complaining. I still have three home runs. So, I'll take, I mean, every, you'll take three more months every day of the week. I went four for five. 
with three home runs. Sindor, right? Yeah. Sarah Forster, I'll take three home runs every day of the week. Sarah Forster went four for five with three home runs. A single. Sits RB on the three runs scored. I don't think I'll be telling about that. I'd rather, it would be, or well, not rather, but I, I, it would have been nice to have four home runs at end, but I'll take four for five with three home runs every day of the week. And sits RBIs. So yeah, let's see in the last, send in the last game of the series, but not, it's the last game of the series, but not the episode. We still have the Mets series. Which is a three and series which is a three and series back at uh Ridley. That's what's finishing that Vesturgeon. Over eleven ones in a row. Father's Day. Over one number forty nine on the year and number eleven on in a row. Beautiful day. Look at both of these games on this in this two game series. Derek Dev Derek Cole are both day names. He's one and four. They're like fourteen starts I saw. I don't know what his ERA is though. I'm bad at four fifty seven. South four serves a switch hitter. And that is uh, not underneath. But the infield in the sh uh, shadows or in the shade and the outfield in the sun. Gr uh flew out there and hits out there. And here I am, 3-1 St. Louis. Run, no runs on one out, top four. Trying to get 11 wins in a row. And that's a drama ball. Oh, snared right back to Cole. I want to beat that out if it got by him. Thought it was no one to, but he swung out the glove. Quick. Two on, runs in the corners, two outs. 0-2 count to Derek Cole, the pitcher. Bottom four. It's st Cardinals still lead by two at 3-1. Come on, we gotta hold him here. Okay, we do hold him. 3 1 Cardinals after 4 and into play here in St. Louis. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do up again, though. So it started 7th inning, leaning off the top of the 7th, still against Cole, and we're still down 3 to 1. Could be our last at bat, only my, th only my third at bat of the game. And I popped it straight up. The high 14 bus went 96 miles per hour, and I popped up to the shortstop, Diaz. Two down or one down. I'm over three in the game. I won't get up another at bat. Now there's one down here in the bottom of the seventh for Tarson Kelly. Tarson Kelly still three one St. Louis. I'll get up again. I did not try. I might not. I might not. If we didn't one base runner without being like a race on double play or anything, I'll get up again. So I most likely will get up again. I better. Uh, the numbers on well, uh, bottom eight still three to one. We have three at have four. This guy is one of them, and I I'm due up second. So if it's Hayward, myself, Star Forcer, and then Brian. So if Hayward can out, I can tie it with a bomb. Assuming that's a, still a two run game. There's Tom Nunez against Adam Warren, and there will be two outs here in the eighth. So from a 0 for 5 game, I threw him on the 6 RBIs to an 0 for 3 game, and Hayward got out, so I can't tie this game. First at bat end of the episode as a right, and I hit my the double, the one I hit into a double play, and the end of, as my, in my last at bat, the last game, he was a righty. Here we go, he's a, he's a righty right here. Bryant's on death though, so if I can get down, he'll need to tie the game with a bomb. And so jam shot will it stay fair at will and he tried to bear in and missed it, but I would have been safe anyways, and that I believe is standing my hidden streak. It is a base hit. I went into the ninth inning, thirteen game hidden streak, which is not that much, but still thirteen games. And now a home run can tie the game. One two down to Brian. And the drown ball is to be two. And it, if it's two the game's over and to pit by the first baseman. It is two. And there goes our 10 game winning streak. We only got one run. They got three in the first. We got one in the third. Nothing after that. And our, and that one run for the Tubbs was on a Contreras solo home run. And it looks like the three runs for the Cardinals was on a 11 to DS three run home run. So F8, 1 3 ground out. P sits in that infield single, which is sending my hand injury. Now, we had a chance, had a time at the play, but Bryant ran into a 4 6 3 double play. Three more games in this episode. That Mets series, three, that Mets three game series at Ensa, or that Mets three game series at home at Ridley Field. 
the last, those, well, those, are, those last, or those three names will be the last three names of the episode regardless of what happens. So yeah, it's Rick, uh, Rick, Rick, or Rich Jefferson versus Sonny Dre, and it's Thomas Fowler versus Jada the Drum, and then it's Kevin Donsman versus Archery Bat Bradley, who's 8-1 with a 1.73 ERA. Here's Dre, who's 7-3 with a 3.09 ERA. Then it's Jefferson, who's 5-2 with a 2.78 ERA. Uh, we're sitting up names up on the Pirates, so that's good for us. Um, I don't see. So it looks like the two days we were off, uh, they lost both games, so obviously a total of those two days they lost, we dated a game, and then the, the day we won, um, that, this, on the, and then that, the day, which was the 16th, or June 16th, the day we won in St. Louis, right, three home runs, they lost too, so we did another game, and then after the, and, the, and then we lo both lost on the 17th. And now, we both have a, let's say, both have a day off here on the 18th. So they had a, a five-name winning streak. Now they have a five-name losing streak. Now they had a five-name winning streak, and then and now they have a four-name losing streak. And obviously now we had uh, we had a ten-name winning streak, but now it's a one-name losing streak, which is we had a ten we ha did have a ten-name winning streak, but now it's a one-name losing streak, which is unfortunate. But wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it was ten. Anyway, let's play the Mets. That last game's gonna be a tough game because if we're playing Archie Bradley, like I said, was well, eight and one or nine and one with a sub two ERA. Let's try to practice field. Let's work down. Yeah. Uh, what was I about to say? That field and reaction. I went in for a few years when I didn't so much sure. Do I get the time? You in? No. I might say yes if I wasn't filming, but uh, then man manager Tio or Tato Sar, we can never be complacent about the fundamentals of the game, man. Let's stay all sharp. Let's all stay sharp out there. Two performance team activated for field and contact and play discipline. Uh, I've seen Lindor. I was about to say Lindor's one of his former team, but Lindor was never on the Mets in this world. They have. Uh, Sebastian Montevallo, I don't know what the heck that is. He's a 69 overall center fielder, and he's the leadoff man for the Mets. Okay. Now, Brandon Nimmo, Brandon Paderlo, Jonathan Lutroy, Avisar Garcia, Hunter Dozier, Tom Lombardi, and then Lee Huddleston, and then the pitcher. Okay. okay. Same lineup as that was at least the first game, except for obviously the pitcher. Uh, um, yeah, I'm bad at 454 still, 38 home runs, 92 RBIs, and, um, they don't, 8 RBIs away from having 100 on the year, and I have 7 stolen bases, 64 runs stored, and I'm 122 for 269. Let's watch Panish and Masters in. Sunny Ray's on the right. Here's our guy. 13 starts, 5 and 2 record with a 2.78 ERA and a 1.21 and a and a whip. And we got line drive. Two outs here in the first, now three outs, no score at least. Really. Our four star numbers on two outs, bottom one, no score. Let's go with hit a double or better, because I don't want to. Just con that swing for a hit or double or hit a double or better, and I want to hit a double or better. Here we go. And Sunny Gray. And this to be a home run. Retreating at the left field, and that ball is gone. 380. So, to play that challenge, 380, 372, number 39 in the year for Star Forcer. I said 380 was 372, 8 feet off. Solo home run for Star Forcer, number 39 in the air, 1 up in Tubbies in the first.
We're not sending nobody out. Top two for Avatar Garcia. Mets let him tie the game right away. And this should be Taz right there. And then we're probably a little tatty. He's only has 45 speed. It was a horrendous throw, but the Lindor the cutoff man was backed up by the third baseman, uh, Brian. So. so it was a bad throw to the cutoff man, Lindor, but Brian, the third baseman, uh, backed up the bad throw. But oh, it did, didn't, or it did uh, hurt my arm accuracy. Two never tubbies now. No runners on. Two outs, bottom three. So it ends Sonny Dre. I well hit hit it to the left fielder just this one he all did I believe the left fielder is Nemo I believe well and it over two nothing Tubbies after three innings so that one was not good the top five now there's Tim Lombardi leading off the for the Met, leading it off for the Mets in the top of the fifth with the Cubs up two and nothing and that's a line drive and that will be top like to just that one down. Still two nothing Cubs. No runs on one out. Three two count. That's Brian Pila in the set. And a jam shot. Here comes Star Forcer. Two down. And our first one out for Star Forcer. One for two with that solo home run back in the bottom of the first. And Austin in the in a fly ball to the left fielder. And that's hit the other way. I have to hit that, that ball the other way because that was the, almost on the outside corner and I gotta hit that to left field, hit it the other way to left field, not pull it to right field. Now three nine Cubs, no runs on one out, bottom eight and it's Caleb Oda. One for three, so I have a fourteen minute hitting streak. Foul ball, I've been left handed the entire game. So I've been facing a right handed pitcher the entire game. And that could be, that is still, we'll lift it out though, for Trina and Garcia, it's gone! 370, 390, 20 feet off, number 40 on the year for Star Forcer, number 2 on, or, send a home run of the name for Star Forcer, number 40 on the year, and it's four up in Tubby's here in the 8th. Second home run of the name for Star Forcer, 40th of the year, four up in Tubbs in the bottom of the 8th. Second home run of the game, second in the series, and fifth home run of the episode. Fourth home run of the game for the Cubs, second for Star Forcer, second home run of the game, second home run of the series, and fifth of the episode. Cubs win as we did back to our as we did back to our winner ways, and let's play the center name of this three game series. And it's the Mets here at Ridley as uh, Star Force won two for four with two home runs, two RBIs, and two runs scored. Let's do it. Let's go to this fourth game of the episode, setting out the series. Let's go to Pendition, Matt Sturgeon. You know, for win number 50 in here. Forty-nine to twenty-four. Fifteen stars, three record with a three-point-nine-nine ERA and a one-point-two-eight WHIP. Run our first one out, bottom one, no score, and then Jake up the drum. It was a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a curveball. So five pitches. And that's a pitch out to uh, the runner at first. I believe is Lind it's not Lindor. Here's the uh, NLE standings. Perry Ferguson is the uh, umpire behind the play. As you can see, the Mets 41 and 31, five games up on the Braves, I believe it said, for first place in the National League East Division. And ah, uh, he quick pitched me and jammed the fastball on my hands. Two down. We're in first place in the NL Central, but I don't know. To be anywhere between like five. Between five or eight, between five and eight games. Runner sent it one out. Top three, no score. Already, this is 40th pitch coming from our pitcher. So he's already thrown 40th pitch in two and two thirds. Eh, it's not that bad. But. Two down. No score. Runner sent in third, two outs. Bottom three. 
Controller shaking, it's a nervous situation. You know, we got a run at third is the pitcher, that's why he has the jacket on. To keep his arm warm. That's foul ball out. What's the I might have hit that out if it was a two four seam basketball because it would have been faster by like five miles per hour instead of a two seam basketball at ninety four miles per hour. There we go. And this one is a four seam basketball. Uh, it was a high fastball. That ball will be caught at the wall or caught at the warning track in and over. Just that the play by Brandon Nemo. That one's out four seam basketball at ninety six miles per hour. Here's Juan Gomez. No runs on two outs. Top four. No score. O2 two count. The Juan Gomez. Juan Gomez, and that I should get there, and he will like the Dizelle. No score up to three and a half. No score. Still no score. Bottom fifth. No runs on one out. I'm 0 for 2. The drums. This is 55th pitch coming. That's the 14 fastball. Basically center cut as the line drive in the left center field. I would get down and go all the way to the wall, basically. And that will be a double for Star Forcer as he represents the go ahead and run here in the set. 31st double of the year for Star Forcer, and that is a 15 game hitting streak. And here's Chris Bryant, and that's half a month, 15. Well, I'll assume that's 30 days, but they're just rounding. One on town with a line drive, won't get down, it will! And I'm gonna be, I don't, I'm gonna still go home, throw home, and I'm out! It was cut off, then thrown home, and he plays. Slaps the town on me right before I had to touch the plate. And now it's 3 up in Mets. Runner at first, one out, bottom eight. And it's Woody Spencer. Time runs on deck. Up, down 3 up in five more to work with. That's the high four seamer. And that is lined and probably taken off someone's head, but foul. One for three is a double, but I was throwing out the play. I'm not sure on that play if the third base coach was sending me or holding me. I don't know. I said round ball should be two, and we headed the ninth with a mess up three and a half, and that was unplush, but it was hit hard, but unfortunately, that is your ball game. Apparently, the Mets are on a four game losing streak, as they win the game four nothing, and they uh, break their four game losing streak. Well, one for four with that double, the top normal player for the Cubs, because obviously we only had six hits, and we didn't even score a run. Uh, so let's stand the last, let's the last game of the series and the episode. This upcoming game right now will be the last game of the episode, regardless, uh, regardless of if we win or lose. So yeah, let's do it. Let's try to the dub though. Let's watch, let's watch Panation Mavis Sturgeon. Star Forcer on the left, Archie Bradley on the right. I forgot about that game. Here's Johnson, 15 starts, 9 and 5 record, a 2.96 ERA, and a 1 whip. So, pretty good. Runner sent it one out, bottom one. Let's do it. Man, 4.51, which is not bad. I mean, it's actually really good. I mean, it's really good, and that uh, was a knuckle curve. What does this guy have? I have 1,278 careers in four seasons. Four seam basketball, knuckle curve, a changeup, and a two seam basketball. Here we go, that's the four seamer. And that's a line drive. Well, it, it will get down in right center field. The runner at center will come around the store. It's an RBS signal for Star Forcer, and the Cubs are off and running. It's one up in Cubbies here in the first. I mean, after getting shut out last night, shut out's gone in an instant. Here's Bryant. That's a ground loss to be two. Hopefully it's only one, and it is not one, it's two. The star Forcer, five nothing Cubs, runner ten and two outs, bottom two, and Archie Bradley's already out of the game. I said round ball pulled that, and we'll get through base hit! They're gonna send the runner! Throw home is not in time to down around the tad! Sits nothing Cubs in the second. And now it's Bryant, who has a 3 one hitters count. Fortunately, it's open one with that double play. As Archie Bradley, who was like 8 and 1 with a sub 2, what? what Archie Bradley, who was like, had an 8 and 1 record or a 9 and 1 record with a sub 2 ERA, didn't even make the two innings. Full count, the Lindor should have been running, but. 
Alright, we're now just three and two in those two late buzz ball four base loaded two outs. Now it's an 0 2 town with the Rizzo who walked, uh, I think, in the inning, it said. Right? Yeah, he already walked in the inning, so we batted around. 0 2 town. And that's a fly ball right center, and that will be caught. Cubs did. How many did they did? We got five in the inning. Well, we leave four. So it looks like uh, Bradley probably was pulled in the inning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Pitching staff? Oh, the ERA 3.64, fourth in the NL, seventh in the MLB, whip first in the NL and the MLB, uh, uh, opponent batting average first in the NL, second in the MLB, Watts third and fifth, strikeouts 11th and 23rd, and home runs allowed was like 11th and 23rd, but for opponent batting average first in the NL and second best or first in the NL, second in the MLB, and then what? Uh, ERA or whip first in the NL and the MLB runners. Bases loaded, two outs, bottom three, sits three tubs. It's a huge play. Or who, huge opportunity! And I drowned it right to the first baseman. Throws it to the pitcher, and we strain the bases loaded at Dan. And I want to drive in a run, failed that challenge. Now sits three. Mets cut the hard of, uh, art lead in half. Now it's eight, five tubs. Runner at first, two outs, bottom five, and two for three. And then it's the same pitcher as the last two at bats. As the round ball, which to, I wish I should have done that with the bases loaded. The runner at first would go to third. I'll stay at first. Runner at first, like I said, would go to third, and they don't even throw it to third. Now it's a pitching. Now the pitching coach is coming out. Now the pitching coach is coming out for the Mets. Here's Chris Bryant runs in the corners, two outs, bottom five, one two town. That's just when I missed strike right three. Head of the fifth, eight five Chicago. And now it's ten five Chicago. As here's Sebastian Matava, the lead-up man for the Mets, leading off for the, leading it off for the Mets in the top of the seventh. Good, good like the desire catch by uh, South Forster in left field, one down. And now it's ten sits, Chicago runner at first, no run or, or bottom sits now. T the score now ten t ten sits, Chicago runner at first, nobody out. Here we go, just a pitch. That's a line drive, and that will fall in front of Nemo Basin. Two on, nobody out for the Cubbies here in the seventh, up four. There's Bryant, 2-2 two, two count, uh, with two on and nobody out in the bottom of the seventh. And it's Hansel Robles, 10 six Cubs. And at the ground ball, this to be two. And second one, first to the pitcher, cover and save. As he beats out the relay. And now it's 12 six Chicago, two on, two out, bottom eight. Star Forcer, four for five, four singles, and two RBIs. And Yumi uh, Yumi Garcia, four singles. Uh, this pitcher has a forcing basketball slider and a changeup. Here we go! That's a foul ball. That's a round ball, and that will be the ending. But we're up half a dozen as we head into the ninth. And Star Forcer still went four for six, but four singles and two RBIs, which isn't that bad. We have 19 hits, by the way. And the Tubbs get the dub to end the episode. Good job, boys. Dawson minutes the win. We did, uh, we did the, uh, Dawson is the winning pitcher. Tubbs did the win. Apparently, they did the win on the first day of summer. So, that means it's what? June, I think. And then now, and now, uh, so we're first place in NL Central. Our 50th win. Um, as Hayward went 6 for 6 in the game. And I was, a, I was still the fourth Noah player for Chicago, although I only, I only went four for sits with four sinos and two RBIs, but still not bad. I mean, Hayward went six for sits with two doubles, four singles, three RBIs and two runs scored. Contreras had a double and a single and three RBIs. Uh, Ryan only had one hit, but it was a home run. Star Force only just went four for sits with four sinos and two RBIs. As we did, uh, Kevin Dawson's a winning pitcher. Kevin Dawson's a winning pitcher. The Cubs get the win. The 50th win as a team. Um, they, they're in first place in the in the NL Central, and apparently the win they just got, which they beat the Mets 12 to six um, in the last game of the episode. Apparently the first day of summer, so I'll take that because I, it is June. So 
I did usually the first day of summer is what, like June, mid June, it's like June twentieth or something like that. So we did the win twelve sits. Kevin Dawson is the is the winning pitcher. South Forsen went four for sits with four singles and two RBIs. And the same we just played where the Tides beat the Mets twelve to six. The, um, and yeah, and then the day that I just played that the Tides beat the Mets twelve to six. It's the first day of summer, so. Cubs hit the win, the 50th win of the year, and they hit the win on the first day of summer, and uh, Kevin Austin's the winning pitcher, and Sarah Borson went four for six with four, uh, and, and then, uh, or, we did the win, we did, we did our 50th win as a team, we did the win, we did the win on the first day of summer, Kevin Austin is the, is the winning, or Kevin Austin's the winning pitcher in Sarah Borson. Uh, those four for sits with four singles and two RBIs. Hope you liked this episode. I'm not sure when this episode of this series will be. Um, well, actually, I don't know what the name. I'm not sure when it's going to be in real life, but I'm going to show you it. Uh, what in this episode will be like? What games and stuff? Right now, because I'm sitting, really saying it in this video, so I remember like when I'm playing off camera when when I say this episode would be like what games. Cause I've done, you know, like, I did it in my Dallas Stars franchise, I think. Or is my Austin uh, Spencer franchise, where uh, I actually went, I think it was my, it was my, uh, was in my Austin Nunn's Spencer franchise, where I went past the day I was supposed to film, and because I didn't, because I didn't what I said in the last episode until after I was past that name, and uh, it auto saved, so I couldn't go back, so. Or it was already, I mean, it wasn't an auto save, but it was already saved, so that's why, um, I turn into bad, so that's why I say it in the video, so I know when I when I'm playing, I I can look at my video and say, oh, I said this these two series like I did in the last episode of what ep this episode would be, so I would know. And I said, I knew it'd be the stop, so I need to stop. So um, next episode uh well will be the home run derby and or the all star game. It probably will be both because I mean I'm hitting 40 home runs. I mean lead leaders. Leading in average, leading in hits, not at bats, doubles I'm leading, triples I'm at five, I'm in third place, one behind Tori Cedar, three behind Carlos Correa, home runs I'm leading Nomar Mazzara by 18, he has 22, I have 40, um, and RBIs I'm leading Josh Bell, he has 53, I have 96, and home runs, yeah, I'm leading the, in the NL and the home run will be. Uh, Trevor Story, who was born in Texas, is on the Texas Rangers. Um, and then RBIs, yeah, I'm leading the, the, the majors in home runs and RBIs. So, um, and then the runs, I'm actually tied for first place for runs in the NL and the MLB with my teammate, Jason Hayward. But yeah, I'll, I'll be in the home run derby and the all-star game, but in this episode will be the home run derby and or the all-star game. Which is a possibility that the home run derby will be a separate video. Usually it's not in Road to the Show. It usually doesn't take that long. Even if you win it, like I think Favorite Junior won it. in Road to the Show like two months ago, or I think it was like two months ago. And I did the home run derby and, uh, and or the all- and I did the home run- and I did the home run derby and the all-star game in one video. It was really... Even if you won the home run derby, it won't take that long because you can skip everyone else. And the all star name, you just as one player, and usually you just pinch hit for like the sixth or seventh inning or something. Or something like that. Usually they don't play an entire game. So, yeah. In this episode, I did it three home runs in the first game. And we won't. I'm not sure how many home runs I hit overall. But overall, as a team, our record was uh, 3 and 2. And we're 50 and 25 now. And we're leading the Pirates by six games. And home runs, I, I think I, I, what did I start with, like, I don't remember, is I had three in this game, if I remember right, yeah, three, I don't think that, and then this game, I don't think I had any, no, this game, I had two, so that's a total of five right there, not, no one scored, we didn't score in this game, so I can't, and then here, I don't think I had a home run, so I think I had five home runs in this game, or in this episode, so I had the four, yeah, so in this episode, uh, we played a total of five names, Starburst had five home runs, and the Tubs went three and two in those five days, and now they lead the Pirates by six games for first place in the National League Central Division. Oh, that's one of those no board. If you have to the like button, subscribe if you answer your mom, dad, grandma, your parents, or those pets, friends about these videos. And you know, I'm gonna see you 
in episode number 59 of the Star Force Road of the Show series. See you in episode number 59, and eat a lot of bacon and no tubs.